On Saturday, October 20th, boxing returns to Brooklyn after 80 years at the brand new Barclays Center. In preparation, some of the fighters were here at Crunch Gym for Media Week, where we had the opportunity to watch them spar and speak with them. Now, I've been working so hard for this camp to take this opportunity to the next level. How many rounds did you spar all told? I sparred over 150 rounds, guaranteed that. Um, went through you know numerous different sparring partners and you know to the you know this got different looks and different styles and everything. I was working with undefeated um, prospect Hugo Santeno. Um, they call him Hugo Boss. You know gave me some good rounds. Every time he comes in, they give me good good rounds. Um, Ashida, I didn't spend numerous rounds. I have to say that guy got definitely got a chin on him, man. He keeps coming and throwing, and I'm I'm very blessed with having the, the guys like Caleb, Marcus Upshaw, Silky Wilson. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Oh, okay. camp, yeah. You, you know, watch, I got. You watch videos of your opponent. You know, let me tell you what I do. I, I, you know, when you start watching videos and you know, you you look like as a fighter, I get emotional about the fight. So when I look at the fight, I start noticing too much of the good that this guy does, and you know, when I'm supposed to be looking at the flaws. So what I do is let my corner and my my, my trainers look at, come up with the um, the game plan, and we strategize that, and with the sparring in the gym. So when I step in there, I'm gonna learn to adjust to the guy from one round and I'm gonna win every round. That's what we try to do is just win, take one round at a time and win it. What, is, what do you expect from him? I expect him to be a, a you know a gazelle to a lion. I'm the lion, he's a gazelle, he's a good mover, he wants to punch and get out the way. So with that with, with that being said, if somebody that thinks about getting out the way all the time is a person that can't be fully a killer like me. You're gonna press him another way. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna press him, but I'm gonna do what I do and I'm gonna do, be just great at it. I'm working towards greatness, you know. I'm from the same city as Floyd Mayweather. I made my name here in New York City. The journey is not complete until the end of my career. And what I found out is having 27 professional fights and 20 coming by a knockout, and regardless who it was, every guy that I hit, they felt the power. They felt the Cuban power, and um, from there, they, they, they had to realize what kind of game plan they had to bring to the table. And I think Hassan, for him to come and say that he's going to use his beautiful boxing skills, he forgot about my beautiful boxing skills. He forgot that on this magnitude, yeah, you've been fighting in France, and what I know about France, they they um they came up with the surrender flag. So if he rung his white flag, then that's what he's gonna have to use if he get in deep waters with me. Petey Quillen, this is it is so great meeting up again. Yeah, you remember the um the famous abs that I had. The fam these are the washboard abs, and look at they're looking. You got you getting a picture of this? This is this this is fab. Oh my gosh, they're even better than yes. ever. Yes, yes. <laughs> I took the work ethic to another level, and it's time to go be a world champion now. Did, did you lose some weight? I mean, you look a little. You, you look a little. Uh, I don't handsome. know. Oh, you're I look handsome, been and, handsome. And, and in shape right now. I learned something about the work ethic. Is just taking up another notch, and now you know. As so the proof is in the pudding, what you can see, you know. The, the proof is there. You, you know, it's been a, it's been a long way. You know, one of my favorite stories is that your older brother would babysit you, and and you would he would set up a little ring and, and, and let the boys uh, yeah. fight each other, right? Well, Tell them that it started story. in Grand Rapids, Michigan. My little brother is here. He's look like my little big brother. He's actually <laughs> right there. And my brother used to take us for entertainment, put him in one corner and me in the other corner, and say he's Mike Tyson and I'm Sugar Ray Leonard. Mismatch, but for the most part, I always beat them up. <laughs> I love that story. It's my favorite. Then you come to New York City. It was a, a tough road, what you were sleeping on floors yes. and... and uh... Just making it happen, you know, like everything was a struggle, but I think every struggle builds a character. If you don't let it break you, or if you don't let the struggle break you, then that's the saying, you know what I'm saying? If what don't break you makes you stronger, and I think that's what it did, and that's why I'm fighting for a world championship fight. And you've been really wanting this ever since I've known you, but 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 at the same time you went to California. What what brought on that move uh, from New York to California? I think you got to conquer our territories. You got to make yourself put yourself in these predicaments where you have to conquer that area, like you know, going to a different area and learning about yourself through and in a different environment. I learned what I can do is go from New York to California and make a name for myself and, and hold my name strong and inspire people that surround me. So when I'm in the wild card boxing club, I'm inspiring all the other fighters in there to be better at what they do. And what's it like with Freddie Roach? Uh, you know, I work with Freddie as much as I can, but, you know, Eric Brown has been in the trenches with me, and I have to get him some credit for that because he's been with me and, you know, grinding out. When I'm sweating in the gym, he's sweating with me. Okay, and just to end this, I mean, what do you feel you need to do? I mean, this is the big one. you got to come out the winner. What I got to do is just go up in there and do what I usually do, look good doing it, and make sure I'm 
putting that inspiration on people through the hard work. I already did the work. It was in the gym. That's the hard part. The easy part is the fight and be able to strategize and keep to the strategy and work towards that. And you're coming home to Brooklyn. How's it feel, baby? Oh, it feels great. It feels good to be around all my peoples who's been seeing me from day one. And, you know, I'm blessed with that. You know, God has given me this platform to go ahead and hold and be responsible with this platform. So I'm very blessed with that. And I, like I said, I feel good, smell good. And all the rest Put them of up it. there, boy, for me. Yeah, yeah, man. Abs of steel yes, here. Yes, indeed. And I'm very <laughs> blessed to be, you know, like I said, still being able to interview with, with you, Crystal, has been a blessing. And just letting you know how much I progress. So this fight is dedicated to people like you and all the people that see me struggle and come from where I come from to be where I'm at right now. Love you. Thank Good you. luck. Good, Good thank luck you. God there. bless. <laughs>